Okay. Yeah. Well, one of the coolest things I think you guys have too is, is, is the type of pasta. Can I pour it out? Yeah, yeah different out. kind of pasta, right? So we used to use the penne pasta. Yeah. But we found that the gamelli really just holds that buffalo heat really I like well. The oh, really? And okay. it mixes with the cheese just perfectly. I've actually never seen this type of pasta. Yeah, you can get it all the way up in those nuts mm. and crannies. Oh, and yeah. yeah. That, that, that is a good point because really it does it. Yeah. Like a little canal there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because I put Love my it. hands all over it. But that's all right. You know, so then we also, as we kind of lay out these ingredients, we also have blue cheese and parsley. And I'll hold those up for the camera too. So. Blue cheese and parsley, you would kind of, kind of now, sizzle that on at the end, or uh, when do you put that in? Uh, I like to save all of that until after it's all mixed together. Gotcha. So after you got all your cheese, your bu uh, pasta, your chicken, all that melted together, so your buffalo you sauce. add the buffalo. I like to use uh, red hot, and all I do is just add a little bit of uh, butter and honey to get that heat mm. just oh, a little honey, bit down. Oh, honey, that's good. And then all you need is two ounces, but of course, if you love buffalo sauce, you can put as much as, as, much you, as want you want on there. So we have the finished product. Mm -hmm. We do. I want to show that off, too, because it looks absolutely amazing. So you talk that about over so at CKB good. and Henderson, presentation's a big deal. And, yeah. and this looks awesome. Mm -hmm.